Among the many new revelations, the IG report blasts former FBI Director James Comey for how he handled the Hillary Clinton email probe, saying he broke protocol. The White House is responding to stunning developments. The president was briefed on the IG report earlier today, and it reaffirmed the president's suspicions about Comey's conduct and the political bias among some of the members of the FBI. I'm outnumbered. All right, let's bring in special report anchor Brett Baer. Brett, I'm sure you have not read the entire thing, or you're, you're probably making your way through it. You know how many trees we've it. killed, Jesse? I mean, we're all printing it. 568 pages. And I'm sure pages. you're all reading it. <laughs> all right. So tell me just... Dana did. In, in, what really jumps out at you so far from what you've seen from the report? One, the big loser, James Comey. Uh, this IG really goes after the former FBI director uh, for his decision-making. Two, the other loser, Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, and those text messages that are that surface more of them in this report, the biggest of which will be, I'm sure, uh, grasped upon by President Trump and his supporters, <coughs> and that is seven words that's, that is an answer to a, a text from Lisa Page to Peter Strzok, Trump's never going to become president, right? Right? And Strzok then responds, no, no, he won't. We'll stop it. Well, that in and of itself, even though we don't have the full context of what they're talking about there, just that in a vacuum will create major uh, fuel uh, to to the issue of, of what was happening behind the scenes. The, the other thing, though, to note is that overall at 30,000 feet, uh, the IG says that they couldn't document political bias within the FBI on the decisions made early in the Clinton email case. Uh, it does raise questions, though, about the bias that they did find and how that affects the case after July when the FBI director Comey comes out with that, uh, that news statement. Yeah, and it seems like the report really tees up the next IG report about the Russia investigation, especially off of these new Page Strzok texts. Let's take it around the table. Uh, Kimberly Guilfoyle. All right. So, you know, Brett, I think there was a lot of, uh, you know, people saying there's going to be significant um, evidence in here. It's obviously quite voluminous. But in terms of the level of discussion that preceded this, do you think that the takeaway, what you're hearing from behind the scenes, is that this was something that they overpromised, underdelivered, or how would you characterize it? Yeah, I think, first of all, depending on your political point of view, right. if you're just talking pure politics, you'll look at this and, and there'll be people who say, oh, it's a nothing burger. And there'll be other people who say it's really chock full of, of damning things. I think what you'll hear from the FBI director, Chris Ray, is that this is a big problem within the FBI. And they're going to probably announce some kind of... Um, action that they're taking. They if you look at Trey Gowdy and what he put out in this uh, in this statement that he put out, he says he's alarmed, angered, and deeply disappointed and goes on to detail in pretty scathing terms what he sees, and he's a guy who's defended the FBI even in the most recent Spygate stuff. Mm. Well, uh, Juan Williams took a really good day to take <laughs> off, and we have Marie Harf in his place. Marie, <laughs> take it away. Hi, Marie. Brett. Uh, well, Jim Comey already responded in a New York Times op-ed where he endorsed the IG's efforts but said he disagreed with some of the findings in it. What do you think's next for Jim Comey? Does he keep speaking out? Does he go quiet? Is he investigated further by DOJ? What happens for him next? I bet you he kind of goes into the night. Uh, mm -hmm. It's interesting that he's out of the country at the time the IG report is coming out. Um, he obviously made his rounds on the media, including on Special Report. Uh, he made the book tour. He kind of laid the groundwork for his defense and obviously has this letter to the New York Times. Um, but the stuff in here suggests that you know, he made some big mistakes in the eyes of the Inspector General of the Justice Department. And, uh, and no matter if you look at it from a Clinton perspective, that, that there are folks who think he cost Hillary Clinton the election, or a Trump perspective and how he dealt with uh, President Trump after the, uh, after the election. I mean, he took it on the chin. I mean, they said he committed serious violations of FBI policy and process and then d damaged the credibility of the investigation and the institution itself. So pretty tough stuff coming out of the IG report. Dana? Well, Brett, in James Comey's statement um, in reaction to this right away, first a tweet and then an op-ed in the New York Times, he says, look, I respect the IG. I think they did a great work here. 
Um, reasonable people can disagree, so he's moving on. Now, the Strzok uh, attorney, he did put out a statement as well, but he didn't address these text messages, and I'm curious if you think that that might happen. And then my other question is, um, Michael Horowitz, the inspector general, had a lot of bipartisan support, lots of credibility across administrations. Uh, Congressman Ratcliffe said today that he has read the report, he's been briefed on it, and he still maintains uh, confidence in Michael Horowitz, which I guess means that this next IG report, which is on the actual Clinton emails themselves, and that investigation would at least have some credibility. Yeah, and I, I think and these are questions that I'm going to ask uh, Chairman Gowdy and Goodlett, and they'll be on in the next hour on special report. I, I think that there is a lot here that tees up, as Jesse mentioned, the next iteration of the IG's efforts. And uh, the second text, the part that says, no, no, mm -hmm. uh, he won't be president, we'll stop it, that was just released last in the past few days, weeks. And the first part where the question is asked, will he be president, was released, but the second part was not. Mm. Um, you know, that tells you something about transparency and where, where this document back and forth is going up with Capitol Hill and, and oversight. I think, to your point, uh, people will look at this and there will be Republicans who look at it and say it just didn't deliver. And I think others will look at it and say there's a lot in here mm -hmm. yet to be mined. Okay, and now from uh, the Fives, Inspector General, yes. Greg Gutfeld. <laughs> This is a stunning read, Brett. It's blowing my mind. <laughs> hey, I heard a rumor that the <laughs> FBI is going to change their name to FWB, Feds with Benefits. Is that true? There is, there is a section in yes. the IG report that deals specifically with that, about <laughs> tickets from media organizations and invites to golf outings. And yes. Yes. I, I, I do have a serious question. There was a part there where we found out that Comey used his private email to conduct, I think it was non-classified business, which may be why he couldn't damn Hillary for doing the same thing, because it's like mutually assured destruction. Mm -hmm. Everybody's guilty of doing the same thing. Could that be part of the reason why he decided not to Hunted. proceed further? I tell you what, these, you're trying to be funny, but these are I'm two serious. really good nuggets <laughs> of the report that yeah. had not been yeah. kind of put out there. Comey is using a private email, even though it's unclassified, to deal with the email investigation yep. of Hillary Clinton. Hmm. Um, and the IG says that's not a good thing. I've got the Gutfeld diaries over here, <laughs> and I've been looking through them. Frightening. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> you're, in, you're on page 70. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Am I Brett. Real? Yes. Oh, you don't God. want to be in Gutfeld's diary. That's yes. the last place you want to be. But nice job with the interview the other day of the president. Yeah, very And nice. we'll be looking forward to 6 p.m. for another great special report. All right, see you guys. All right, Kimberly, yeah. like we talked about, some of these nuggets that are coming out, and it's going to take probably another 24 hours to get all of them. Um, her emails were penetrated by mm -hmm. a foreign agent. Mm -hmm. And that we really didn't know because Comey himself said it was possible that that happened and now we learn that it actually did happen and one of those emails was considered secret which means disclosure of that email reasonably could be expected to cause serious damage to the national security of the United States. Yeah, th I think this is significant because the much was made at the time, oh well, it's possible but there was no nailing it down but Obviously, they knew yep. and were not honest about it. And essentially, what I call that is a cover-up. Like, why, if you knew that, in fact, that they had been penetrated and they had been read, et cetera, by or accessed by a foreign agent, that is significant. It is a security breach of the highest order and something that is very disconcerting for us for national security. But there you go. Hillary Clinton, the rules of law do not apply it to her or to Mr. Comey. Birds of a feather flocking <laughs> together. Right. Another weasel move by the director. <laughs> uh, Marie, some of the nuggets that I'm really interested in deal with Strzok because they keep coming. Um, we'll stop it, meaning we'll stop the Trump presidency. When you pair that with they need to protect the country from Donald Trump and we need an insurance policy in case he is elected. And now FBI agents are calling Trump supporters retarded. Um, at least five FBI agents exchanging anti-Trump, pro-Hillary text messages, the IG says there was willingness to take official action to impact Trump's electoral prospects. That sounds pretty serious to me. It does, and I think they demonstrated incredibly bad judgment. 
but the IG also found that there was no evidence that political bias or improper motivation affected the Hillary email investigation. So what I've always said is these people should not have been doing this. It was stupid. It, it looks bad. And the IG actually found that, that it looked bad. It called into question the investigation's impartiality. But there's no evidence that their personal views impacted yeah, it. Yeah, because they're not dumb enough to leave a paper trail well, except Jesse, Strzok and Jesse, Page. You and a lot of folks uh, on the conservative side have been waiting for this report and basically putting a lot of faith in what comes out of it. They found have very I? clearly, I think so. Because I think we've been downplaying it. We said <laughs> it was probably going to be a... Well, you know, a big air ball. I think, go ahead. I think it's. I think it's important. This is selective history. It's fake news. Um, I think. Whoa. I think that. It's important that they did not find evidence that yeah. political bias impacted the investigation. They also found uh, that they had no way, no ability to prosecute Hillary Clinton under the five statutes they examined. So I'm not an attorney, well, but the Department of Justice looked into the question that, that a lot of Republicans and Trump supporters keep bringing up and found, in fact, that they did the right thing here. That's actually not true. What, what the IG report says, Dana, is that witnesses, meaning prosecutors at the DOJ or FBI investigators didn't think that this would be a prosecutable case. It doesn't mean the IG concluded that that was the fact. It just meant some attorneys disagreed. Well, and, and to further that, I think what one of the things Comey did was, so they, the IG says insubordinate, 